hello guys welcome to a new video and if you guys haven't followed me on twitter go ahead and follow me at ccna daily tips and let's go ahead and start with this new video and in this <coughs> video we are going to talk about ppp which stands for point to point protocol which is a data link layer 2 communications protocol used to establish direct connection between two nodes so to end devices it connects to routers directly without any host or any other networking device in between okay so this is what point to point is and point to point uses two other protocols to authenticate this connection which is PAP or PAP and PAP is clear text so not everybody uses that because it sends your traffic um, in clear text so you don't like that and CHAP is the other one CHAP which encrypts your entire traffic when you're using this to authenticate so we are going to configure a point to point protocol using CHAP because it's not clear text and also there's a old version of a data link communication protocol which is HDLC and HDLC is actually the default configuration of the um, serial link so whenever you plug into routers with a serial link interface HDLC comes um, configured by default and when you plug in a serial interface like this one over here you're gonna see that there are two different ends there's one end which is the DCE or the data communication equipment which is run by the ISP and this one is run by the ISP because they can um, they are the one that configure the speed of the clock speed of the data or the bandwidth that goes to your house so they're the one depending on your contract with them let's say with Verizon if you're gonna have um, 100 megabytes up and down that's where they configure it right here on the router on their DCN or data communication equipment in and then there's the data terminal equipment which is a DTE and that's what you have at your house okay so what we're going to do is we're going to configure this to router routers to use um, point to point protocol and we're going to configure this serial link over here this one is going to be two okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go to router one first of all let's say no let's give it a host name of uh, router one and also before you can communicate before you can um, establish a connection if you're going to use um, any authentication method or any authentication protocol which is PAP or CHAP we're going to use CHAP you have to configure a username and you also need to configure a password so and this username needs to be the name of this router over here which is router 2 and then password and you gotta give it a password and the password needs to be the same for both of them okay so remember that we gave it a, a password of Cisco and no you cannot um, you cannot configure with a secret because because the secret is going to encrypt it and the router won't be able to read it okay and since chap is already going to encrypt it um, it doesn't really matter but otherwise you cannot use secret anyways so let's go ahead to the interface and this one is serial link over here IP address and IP address is going to be 10.1.1.1 252 which is a slash 30 and then do a no shutdown and after this we have to configure the um, 
point to point protocol and you do that by first of all encapsulation PPP and then after that we have to um, configure our authentication method which is going to be CHAP in this in instance so PPP authentication CHAP okay and here we just press enter and there it is so now we also have to do a clock speed or clock rate and we're just going to give it a speed of 64,000 there it is and copy one star there it is so now let's go to router 2 and let's configure that hostname first to r2 and now the username and remember the username is we or this router over here which is router 1 oops username router 1 and then password and we give it password or Cisco so the password needs to match okay now let's go to interface 0 IP address that 2 that 250 that 252 which is a slash 30 now shut down you see that interface went up and now we have to tell this serial link to use the encapsulation method of PPP and then we also have to authenticate using chap and there it is and you can see that it went down and then it went up because they are now able to communicate with each other so now let's go ahead and copy one start to save our configuration and now we can go ahead and try to ping router one and there it is we were able to ping router one but what happens if we give a username router one and the password we give it as syscus let's see what happens if we change the password let's try to ping we're still able to ping let's do a config terminal interface shutdown now shutdown let's see if we're still able to ping and there it is now we are not able to ping that interface because the password is different okay just like I told you guys you need to have the same password so let's go ahead and configure that password password Cisco oops Cisco now let's go back to the interface shut down and then no shut down let's see if we're able to ping it now to ping and you can see the interface went up already oops so let's go and just ping it from here since I made a mistake ping that two there it is so we're able to ping router two okay let's see if we change this router one I went to router one okay if we do a username router three let's see what happens and with the same password let's see if we're able to communicate if we give it a different um, username let's do a shutdown no shutdown do ping We're still able to communicate even if we change that username. Let's see if we exit. Then we have to delete that. Let's delete this. Let's say no. And then because it's still using that um, username. So let's give it this one. Let's go to the interface again. Shut down. 
Now shut down. Are we still able to ping? We start able to ping. Let's do an end. Show run. Okay, so I'm sorry. So we have to do a no username router two. That's what we have to do. Config terminal no. This one over here. But we still have username router three interface zero interface. Shut down. Now shut down. Let's see if we are able to ping router two. And there it is. So we're not able to ping router two because we do not have um, that username for router two with that password. Okay. So that's what I was saying that it needs to match. The username needs to match for router two, and also the password needs to match. So let's go ahead and match that again. And we can just do a no router three because we don't need that. And then let's configure router two. Oops. So router two. Now you can see that it went up already. So we can now ping router two because we provided that username which is the host name of this one over here and the password and it was and we were able to work it was able to work because the pass the username and the password are matching with router 2 so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoy it and if you haven't so go ahead and subscribe to my channel or follow me on twitter thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye